I had to step out from the office today because my head is exploding. I get home, I cry almost. Three hours on one task. I didn't understand really the last week topics. I really wonder how I would eventually get there. Like I really do, I have no clue right now. You know what, screw it. This is uh, the evening before our final presentation. Honestly, uh, I am a little nervous. The fucking project is only half done. We'll see what happens. My name is Ali Salem and I grew up in Syria. Studied there, finished my bachelor there in economics and then moved to Germany to do my master's degree in political science. Both of those were not something I wanted to study, but I just did it because it was first easier maybe. Second, I didn't have a chance to study something I really liked. This idea of manipulating a language and making it uh, do stuff for us, I think it's amazing. I kept ignoring it maybe a bit, I thought it's not a serious passion, but at the end it was for me. Now I'm 30, 31 year old, um, and I was thinking like, I still didn't do that, so it is time for me to really do it. I'm very, very excited, but I'm also frightened. It's gonna be an advanced bootcamp, cause I'm in the data science bootcamp. Apparently it's not something you start from scratch. So you need to have some uh, some knowledge about it. And just recently I've been told that, oh, I have a lot of stuff to prepare before the beginning and I have to do challenges and I opened some of these challenges and they were really hard. <laughs> so I really needed to study more. I need to prepare for it. I think the general feeling is just being excited, but also afraid that this is really hard. The TETL experiences she faced here, or she had here, or something, anyway. <laughs> when you looked into my eyes, you saw a familiar soul. I want on the one hand to create a working business model, and on the other hand um, find a way of expressing my uh, entire um, weirdness. <laughs> And I thought coding is like the area with the biggest possibility of combining those two things. I have a husband, I have a family, you must not say that I'm meeting you. I'm Nora, Nora, <laughs> um, and I just moved to Berlin. I studied cognitive science and um, I did a little bit of coding there as well. Um, but to be honest, I always thought that uh, we were not learning this in much of a detail before I was living three years in Sao Paulo in Brazil. And I don't know, I just graduated and I got this opportunity of participating at Low Wagon. <laughs> and I think it's quite a cool thing to, um, in two and a half months, learn the basics of um, strong coding or so. To be honest, this was never like my interest or my passion, like programming, not at all. The decision I took right now was rather motivated um, from like those things that I imagine that I can do with it once I have those skills, but never that I actually enjoyed the skill, like learning this skill. Um, so I'm not sure if this is actually a working foundation, but um, <laughs> now I'm in and I am yeah, definitely yeah, will be working hard. Yeah. I am Juan, I come from Mexico and I am web developer. I was captured the first time I wrote a line of code and just printed off the screen and this feeling it just make me keep doing. That feeling that you can be able to be creative, use uh, logic, mathematics and build something that uh, follow your thoughts. I think that it is nowadays really necessary to have this data science knowledge in my toolkit. This will bring me more opportunities, more areas to explore. That are the reasons that I choose to take this data science course. There is a lot to cover 
And I remember my first question to the team was how it is possible for a person to get all this information. It's like a training program. I think you will fail a lot and you will be frustrated a lot. But at the end, after you recover and you just uh, take a moment to um, digest all this information, I think you will have the benefits of this training. Cool, then I think this would be the time to go. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, let me sh share my display and I'd like to welcome all of you um, to our new bootcamp. During the upcoming nine weeks, you will learn something every day. And it's not only something, but it's going to be quite a lot that we're going to teach you. And don't worry, um, this is all geared in a program that we know that's going to succeed. There will be moments where you feel that you don't know anything. Uh, you will feel overwhelmed with a lot of new concepts. You might get very frustrated and you also get nightmares. All of our teachers and TAs, we've been there. I've been stuck in an infinite loop quite a few times when I did the bootcamp. And this is something that is completely normal. Make sure that you really commit to us. Um, it's going to be intense, but trust the process. The web development bootcamp is where you learn how to make a full stack app. So you learn to write both the front end and the back end in uh, Ruby and JavaScript. The data science bootcamp will teach you how to get your first steps into the data science world. So we'll teach you about decision science, uh, machine learning and uh, deep learning. And this is how you develop the right skills to make pretty decent apps already. So I think that the word bootcamp says everything about it. Basically, every day you're put, of, put out of your comfort zone. So you learn something new every day. You had like eight hours there every day. After the day, you, you, you will be like <laughs> KO, like total uh, done. You're drilled with new information all the time. You're, you're trying to figure things out. You don't understand them. And then after a few weeks, it, it kind of clicks and you understand what you're doing. There were days where I felt super confident. Um, of my knowledge and my capabilities. And there were other days where um, I wasn't quite sure how to do something. I've learned since to just relax and trust the process. And as long as you have the right resources, um, you will find the answers to, to you know, solve the problems that in the beginning you might not be able to solve. First day completed. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I was in front of my computer like uh, until now, <laughs> and I finally managed. Scheiße. Machine learning is coming, so is deep learning. So over the coming two weeks, you're gonna use actually uh, some of the concepts, and even if you do not use them, just understand. The second day of the bootcamp, had very intense time, 10 hours of straight coding, I didn't have time to cook or eat or anything. So I just had a walk now and uh, I'm just sitting for 15 minutes now, relaxing on the couch. Then suddenly I get a message from Kit, which is a automated bot integrated in our system for the bootcamp. Send me notifications like, did you do the flashcards today? <laughs> Like, I'm like, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me to rest. Oh my God. Learning uh, at Levagon is of course doing your challenges, but also doing the flashcards. Flashcards are a digital card where you reiterate over the topics of the day. So the most important concepts. I think it's around 20 flashcards per day. So 20 short kind of brain teasers to remember what you've done that day. And by really reiterating over the, the concepts, you really learn way better and you really cement that knowledge. Ready for another um, not at all hectic day at Le Wagon. This is my little everyday uh, setup. Everything prepared for a really long, tough day. <laughs> that's my painting. <laughs> um, that's my plan. <laughs> yes. Um, that's my piano. Um. The plan for today is, uh, first we're going to do a recap of yesterday, 
uh, really short, then do some motivations on why we use linear regression. Then we will um, like look at the big picture of linear regression, like how to um, look at the concepts, how to um, approach it visually. Morning. It's really early. Um, I am watching videos because I didn't understand very well yesterday the topics. Mm. At least it's going to be a nice day today. Friday, I'm um, sleeping already. It's 10, 10 p.m. Um, and I'm so finished, like this week was really, really, really hectic, <laughs> especially today. Um, yes, I'm, I'm so finished. It's 2 a.m. Watching some videos about freaking Python in classes. When I study usually other stuff, I would avoid, try to clean, try to sleep. But with this, I want more time. I want to learn more. I look for extra stuff to learn in order to be able to produce better codes in the future. And I'm hopeful. I know it's gonna, not gonna be easy, but nothing comes easy. We're not going to be great programmers or coders immediately after finishing it. It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of experience. It will be laughs, it will be tears, it will be breaking your laptop, it will be <laughs> sleepless nights, <laughs> but it will be worth it. Yes, finally I'm here. I'm in Berlin. It's been two weeks, two and a half weeks actually, since the start of the boot camp. I'm still alive. <laughs> That's a good news. So we're a little bit stuck where to begin. I didn't really understood it with the search thing. It was really hard for me waking up. I feel like I lost a little bit track. Let's uh, get into work. Thousands of developers find jobs across Europe using Honeypot. If you're up for a new challenge in one of these European cities, sign up at honeypot.io. If you want to see more tech documentaries, then subscribe so you don't miss the next one.